Hi there. My name is Henry Smith from IamWorkingRich.com. Thanks very much for joining me today. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And um, if you've been watching these for a while, welcome back. Thanks very much for your support. And this, what we're about uh, doing a video series at the moment on wealth creation and action, where I'm developing, growing an investment portfolio before your very eyes on a day-to-day -day basis, recording the figures. This is an investment portfolio that started last year in May, June 2020, and uh, continues to grow. Started didn't start actually documenting it and recording it until February this year, February 2021. And uh, after it hit six figures from a very humble beginning. And um, I'm continuing just to grow, just to show kind of, you know, how the growth of a portfolio, how what the, the you know, the ups and downs it goes through and then how you maintain the right mindset through that. And the other twin pillar, there's twin pillars to this. The two twin pillars are number one, having the, the right mindset strategy which consists of a wealth of prosperity mindset plus, uh, mentality then there is the investment strategy and the right investment strategy when you combine the two of them you've got a winning combination no matter what the weather uh, but before i go on must do the uh, obligatory disclaimer to let you know that i am not a financial advisor or financial planner I'm not an accountant or cpa or tax specialists. So um, do your own research and due diligence. Understand that all investments carry risks. Investment can go up as well as down. So do not invest more than you can afford to lose. And uh, it's just my responsibility to say that to you. However, you know, these investments haven't done too bad on our side. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is share my screen in, in a few seconds and update today's figures. And what I do is normally update the figures of the of the portfolio on how it's grown and um, now come back and talk about a couple of things. So I'm going to share my screen right now and we should get to the spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet I've been using since the end of January or should I say beginning of February 2021 when it hit the six figure mark and every day I'd update the figures as you can see on the right hand side. Green when it's gone forward and red when it's gone backwards so you can see it's gone forward, backwards, forwards and backwards. Uh, some streak, running st streaks when it went forward, you know, for a few days, four days, and then backwards for two days, and forward for five days, and backwards for three days. And that's the, that's the nature of the market. That's the nature. Just bear in mind, I'm not a trader. I'm actually an investor. So I just leave it there and let the market rise or fall according to what it's supposed to do. But obviously, I've done my research in the beginning before I picked the investments. And first month, we reached 37,000. 160 above the above the um, 6,000 mark, and in March we went through March and we reached 126,381 above the above the 106,000 mark. I mean above the it actually was above the 37,000 mark, and then we into April and April's been quite an interesting month where we've had you know three pullbacks and we had a up down up down up down days and today is another day the 22nd of um of april and the time i'll put the time in a minute the figures that come from this page here the asset summary which is a cryptocurrency investment which consists of one bitcoin and an, and, and an assortment of the right selected specially selected altcoins alternative coins and this is the total of the portfolio this particular portfolio and uh, this is the same equivalent in pounds, Great British Pounds, GBP. Uh, this is what it is in pounds. So this is kind of the percentage ratio between the Bitcoin and the altcoin value. So uh, I'm going to take this figure here, 218.409.03. So the time is that. I forgot it now. What's that saying? Oh, 218.409. 218.409.03. Eight three was that? Eight three. Oh, oh three. Oh three. Let's correct that. To an O. And so if I bring that down, that is a little down from yesterday. Minus two thousand nine hundred. So we color that red. And we can see a pattern here. You know, it's going up, in, out, in, out, up, down, up, down. 
Um, and 273, the overall figure, 273, 101, 94. 273, 273, 101, point, is that 94? 101, 94, that's correct. So uh, this, you know, updates every 10 minutes. As it, uh, this, this, shall I say, updates every 10 minutes through the live, live feed. Uh, so I'll bring this down. That's minus 3,000, so if I color this red. So that's that. So um, that's cool, so stop that. So basically, um, what I'm gonna to talk to you about today, so, you know, again, once you've got the right mindset, you don't let the market sway you, whether it's going up or down, you don't get emotionally attached or detached. You know, I'm just detached, basically, it's just, I'm gonna research, we know where the market's going, and it's never exact straight line. It always goes up and down, up and down uh, as it goes, you know, to its destination. So when it goes down, it's not a problem. We know it's going to turn around and go back up. In fact, if it goes down more, I'll probably maybe buy more Bitcoin. So it's a good thing. It's all good, all good, all good, all good, all, all good. Okay, and you've got to have that mindset. Good things happen to you every day. Now, the mindset is so, so important. Okay. Now, the investment strategy, uh, if you want to get more more um, information about the mindset training and investment strategy, the first step of it, and then we can get to our website, imwealthenrich.com. I'm going to show you here, um, bring it up on the site. I'm, so let's bring it up, imwealthenrich.com. Um, I'm worth and rich.com. Scroll down here and you can uh, watch some videos. What? Fill in the short form, get your free millionaire mindset investment strategy now. And then, if you want to get more advanced strategy on the altcoin strategy, you can contact us, jump on a webinar. We can show you how to, uh, more about that as well. So, um, what I want to talk to you today is more about something very important. It's called um, belief you know um where's that one share my screen again it's a very simple word yeah called belief and this word is so powerful this is what really do determine your success whether you believe that you deserve to be wealthy that you are wealthy you need to believe that you are wealthy and rich and don't fake yourself. Most people fake themselves. Yeah, they say, yeah, 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 I believe, I believe. Well, really, the truth is they don't. They believe on a superficial level, but deep down inside, they don't. And until you believe deep down inside, you will never attract wealth or become wealthy or stay wealthy. Okay? And this is so, so, so important. Um, true belief is deep, deep within. It's not a superficial thing. Let me give an example. Um, um or what i mean by belief okay so let me just click on this if i were to draw now forgive me if it's not the best drawing in the world this is just say this is you uh, um let's just see this is you oh you've got wide arm there and legs and this is represents you whether you're a man or a woman um Sorry, ladies. Um, this is you, I'm trying to use the mouse here to draw. This is your outer body. And you might say, yeah, I believe, I believe, and so on and so on. There's an inner you, okay? There's an inner you, which is the real you. I wish I had it, right? Yeah, anyway, uh, inner you hasn't really got legs, okay? I'm just drawing it. Okay, inside, okay, it doesn't look like that either. Now this is the real you, and it's what this fellow or lady person believes that is real. It's not what you believe on the outside, oh, I believe, oh yeah, of course I believe. Don't kid yourself. What this guy in here believes, the inner you, which is the real you, 
beliefs is what materializes in your life. Okay, and somehow what happened to a lot of people is that this poor chap, a lady, has been contaminated with a lot of negative thinking over the years and doesn't believe some very good things about you. And unfortunately, it's attracted things that you don't like. So if you, you don't like your bank, bank balance, you don't have the kind of money you'd like to have, the kind of car you'd like to have, the kind of house you'd like to have, the kind of family life you'd like to have, the kind of vacation you'd like to have, the kind of lifestyle you want to have, or should maybe you know a healthy kind of like you to have or the for security you'd like to have it's due to whatever this chap here this person here this lady man woman believes okay when you correct the belief here then on the outside you'll see that the, the, you, you you'll see you know around you uh, your aura something called your aura will change okay your energy around you will change and that is what will attract okay um good or bad rich or poor healthy or sick okay wisdom or stupid okay it will attract different kinds of things not love or hate it will attract the kind of things that in different proportions it depends on on the makeup of your belief it's, the, it's not black and white. You know, most people have a combination of good and bad. I mean, most cases, people have, um, you know, the mind, okay? Every day, every day, um, every day, uh, excuse the writing here, you have about 70,000 thoughts. Oh, I'm going to try and spell thoughts with this one. Okay. Thoughts. Oh. Thoughts. Oop. Thoughts. Oh, well. Anyway. So, thank you. So, you, every day you have about 70,000 thoughts that run through you. They come through this guy here. And, and also internal thoughts and the external thoughts and they all mix up and they, the, the, you are the sum total. You are the sum total. Okay? Sum total. <laughs> it's funny this writer, it, isn't it? Anyway, that's meant to say sum total. That's what you are. You are the sum total of your thoughts. So that you see, seventy thousand thoughts to yesterday, seventy thousand thoughts the day before, seventy thousand thoughts the day before that. So if we even say that, you know, seventy. Let's get that calculator. Calculator. Hmm? So if you have, um, I'll use this keyboard now. Uh, seventy thousand thoughts times. Um, let's say times thirty. That's 21, the 2,100 thoughts in a month times 12. That's 25,200 thoughts per year times five. That's 126 million thoughts in the last five years. So the, the way your life is now is due to what the kind of things you have thought about over the last five years. Your thoughts over the last two to five years determine where, where you are now. And your thoughts over the next five years will determine you know, where you'll be in five years' time. Now, the truth with most people, um, the sum total of their thoughts are mostly, unfortunately, negative. Oh, sorry, it's going to be negative. Get rid of that. Back to this. Negative. Negative. It means negative, by the way. Most of the majority, it could be 70% of their thoughts or 50% of their thoughts or 80% of their thoughts. Some people who are very negative, you know, 90% of their thoughts are negative. 
You know, some people, 99% of their thoughts are negative. Some is 50-50, some is 80-20, some, some, no, no, you know, like I said, we're not all perfect. So, but you, what we want to do is shift, okay, to, so you've got some that are more positive than negative thoughts, okay? The percentage is what, we, what we've got to change, okay? What are you, 80-20? 90, 10, I, you know, in which direction are you, okay? And, but once you do that, okay, you will then see dramatic changes. I'll tell you, uh, uh, you know, and this can be applied in anything and everything, in business and life, and finances, sports, relationships, it can be apply, applied in so many different things. I'll tell you a story about a guy, uh, there's hundreds and thousands, hundreds of, hundreds of millions of stories, of, of, of these, of what pe you know, people with, with the belief, where's the belief gone, okay? That have taken this belief and charged it with absolute positive belief that they're going to achieve something and they've achieved against all odds, okay? A once famous man used to say, and he's passed away now, but he's a very inspirational guy and a, a lot of my, to, you know, a lot of things I've learned from him. He used to say, when the dream is big enough, the facts don't count. Now, some of you who listen to this will know what it, what, who I'm talking about. When the dream is big enough, when the belief is big enough, the facts don't count. And I'll give you an example. There was a, a boxer back in the 90s called Evander Holyfield. And, and um, he... Um, Go back here then. Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield. And he believed that he could beat Mike Tyson. Okay, at that time, Mike Tyson was absolutely ferocious, you know. Tyson. You know, um, that was an incredible fight. Okay. November. Uh, 9th of November 1996. So Tyson was ferociously known as absolutely beast in the ring, baddest man of the planet, as they say. And, um, and um, you know, Holyfield believed he can beat him. And he actually really trained himself, trained himself, trained himself. Tyson needs, need, needed no introduction. And Van Holyfield had achieved some great freaks before. And I knew that this guy was just quite special. But he really believed in himself. And um, he really believed in himself. And he, um, like I said, he, he, um, that fight here, these two guys, he believed he could beat him. But everybody thought that Tyson was going to win. Nobody gave Evander Holyfield a chance except Evander Holyfield. And um, the amazing thing is that they had many, he, he had the belief. That's the key way. He had that belief in her. You know, one, one thing I'm, before I continue, let's go back to what I'm, where's that thing gone? You see this here? Digress a bit. Your belief, when your belief, when you have the belief, go to my wonderful drawing here. When this little guy in here has true belief in something, it affects your aura. Your aura is an energy that's around you, okay, that you can't fake. You cannot fake it. That's the real, your belief shows in there. This is what attracts your pain, your pleasure, success, failure, love, relationship, hate relationship, good, bad, whatever. This is what, where it manifests. When you believe, your, it shows in your aura around you and that's what attracts you. People talk about the law of attraction. Everybody's operating the law of attraction. The problem is most people are, are operating it negatively because they, the proportion of negative thinking is too much, is a, a, a predominant. So, not the one I want. So when you can get this aura charged, it's basically based on what you're thinking in, 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 a, in, in your inner mind, okay? Then that is what we'll talk about belief, okay? That's true belief, not fake belief by saying, I believe. By saying, I believe, doesn't mean you believe. It doesn't mean anything. You're just, that's called kidding yourself. 
But there are some exercises you can do as in our course, or I showed you in the course, you can get for free on our website that you can actually develop and build your belief. Well, here's what I'm back to Evander Holyfield, okay? So where's Evander Holyfield? Okay, nobody gave him a chance, and um, nobody gave him a chance. And um, so, so I remember one guy was saying to him, the interview, you know, everyone was going to say, you know, it's not going to last very long. For as long as it lasts, it's going to be a good fight. But as soon as he gets in the ring and he actually connects with Tyson and Tyson connects with him, he's going to realize he made a mistake because we all know that Tyson has a ferocious punch, very powerful, very strong, very vicious, blah, blah, blah. I don't even have to explain it. Um, Evander Hills was you know, too much of a gentleman, you know, nice guy and so on. But he had terrific, unshakable belief that um, what's the word I'm talking about? that he will win. Okay, and the the is the interesting thing about his belief. His belief was so strong, so unshakable. It was inner belief, so true, so unfake. He believed without a shadow of a doubt. And yes, his religion had something to do with that. Belief, you can be wrapped in a, in a religion or you know your faith and so on. What belief is is a belief. You can actually believe without being a, tied to a religion. But if you have it with a tied to a religion, all the better. So he had his he had his belief. And here's the interesting thing. Um, you know, it's kind of short. He um, he was interviewed. There were many interviews before a boxing fight, as you know, different interviews, press conferences, and so on. And then one of you know, and even Tyson was walking around saying, "I can't believe." I can't believe this guy believes he can beat me. You know, what, like, well, he has the audacity to believe he can beat me, you know? And here's the interesting thing. Um, Tyson, uh, no, they're interviewing uh, Holyfield once. And, you know, and, and, the, and the, the interviewer was saying to him, you know, are you sure you want to do this one? Because you could get hurt. You know, we, we love you. You're a nice guy. We're concerned for your health. We know you're a good boxer, but are you sure you want to have this fight? You know, this guy is very dangerous. And, and if Royfield if kind of lost it for a minute, you know, and he said to the guy, you know, everybody, everybody, I know nobody believes in everybody is talking about what Tyson would do to me. Everyone is talking about what Tyson would do to me. Nobody is talking about what I would do to him. And the, the, the interviewer was saying, what, 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 what you will do to Tyson? <laughs> Almost laughing. He said, yeah. <laughs> so the commentator, the interviewer said to him, okay, okay, let's just indulge you. He didn't actually say that, but it's almost like, okay, I'll indulge you. Let's assume that you win. <laughs> and uh, let's say that maybe, or say something like, let's say maybe you win. And Ivana Holloway interrupted him. And he says, it's not maybe. He said, I've already won. I've already won. And then he said something else. I'll go back to my screen here. He said, I've already won. It's just that the date has not come yet. You hear, you see that? I've already won. It's just that the date hasn't come yet. Okay. So he believed, okay, that um, these are the magic words, okay? And I suggest, I put it to you, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, you say this yourself, okay? When we say I'm wealthy and rich, you damn well use the word I am wealthy and rich. Use it a thousand times a day. Okay, it doesn't matter what is in your bank account right now. You are already rich. You're already a millionaire. You're already a multimillionaire. Just that the day hasn't come yet. You're already rich. I am rich. Say it. You don't say, well, well actually, I'm not. Those kind of people never get anywhere. So he had unshakable belief and belief. He, it was already a done deal. He has already won. Just that the day hasn't come yet. And what happened? What happened? Okay. He, he won. Okay.
you know, this was a hell of a fight. I can't even, fortunately, because I'm doing this thing with Zoom, and I'm not going to go and show it, but boy, was it a fight. And he fought Tyson, and he, and I mean, people just could not believe, he gave Tyson, he gave Tyson a Tyson. He Tysoned Tyson. Okay, not disrespectful about Tyson. Mike Tyson's an awesome boxer, a legendary boxer. But boy, he showed the difference of what belief can do. Okay, he showed what belief, true belief. And he, yeah, he trained. He didn't just have belief. He had an incredible training cap. He trained and trained and trained. Okay, until, you know, at the end, you know, I don't even know where, what part of the tape we're in now. I'm just going through it. He got the victory. Yes, yeah, this is about it. Just too much. Too. I've already won. What I'm trying to say is true belief, you can't fake it. Okay, and that was not fake belief, but just said, oh, I believe. Okay, there's lots of people have said that. I'm not scared of Tyson, I'm not going in the ring. You saw the difference. This is going to have true belief, and this is in boxing, I love boxing, though. but it doesn't matter, you can apply it in finance, you can apply it in business, you can apply it in relationships, you can apply it in parenting, you can apply it in so many things. Develop belief, 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 belief. But the way you develop belief, I'm talking now in this context is in wealth and prosperity belief. You want to believe that you're wealthy in prosperity? I am wealthy and rich. Get on our site, IamWealthyAndRich.com. Get download the course, apply it the way I teach it, and you will see changes, dramatic changes. Okay? So that's enough for now. This is Henry Smith, over and out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. Get this video shared with other people. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Go increase your belief right now. Bye.